I'm Wilson Jackson here with HBCU Game Day live from the Athletic and Assembly Center. And despite a sluggish start, the Jack State women's basketball team bounced back to defeat Texas Southern 73-64. Texas Southern jumped out to an early 11-2 lead. TSU's Olivia Cunningham uses a pro hop and slashes to the basket for a layup. After a slow start, JSU began to attack the basket and earn points. Here Chelsea Causey finds Marnisha Hamer wide open for the easy jumper as the Lady Tigers got their mojo going. But things will stay pretty even throughout the first half. Lady Tigers' Kaisa Lucky looks to connect with her teammate in the paint, but the ball is tipped by Rochelle Velez. Cunningham then gets the ball and finds Nia Milchel streaking down the court as she finishes with the layup for TSU. Then on another possession, Alasia Reddy finds Velez in the corner for a three-pointer. TSU led 25-15 early in the second, but the Lady Tigers kept fighting and got in rhythm. Ellis finds Hamer who dribbles to her left and kicks the ball out to Jasmine Rittman for a wide open three-pointer and the teams went into halftime tied at 36. In the second half, things will begin to go in JSU's favor. Christina drives to the basket and dishes in one-handed pass to Hamer who finishes in the paint and this was only the beginning. Then Hammer looks to score again in the paint, but instead finds Antoinette Womack for the knockdown jumper, and the Lady Tigers were in full control. TSU looking to put points on the board, but Kenna Poenju's layup is blocked by Causey. Causey then dishes the ball to Taylor Lattimore, who finds Ellis down court for a transition layup. And then, Ellis deflects Mitchell's pass. Lattimore then finds Ellis down the court for a transition layup, count the basket, and the foul. Jackson State led by as many as 13, but will go on to defeat Texas Southern 73-64. Jackson State men's basketball team led Texas Southern by as many as 14 going into the second half. But TSU was too much for Jackson State going down the stretch, and the Tigers struggled to score offensively when it needed to, and TSU would go on to defeat Jackson State 77-65. The Tigers came out with a strong punch offensively as Chris Howell knocks down the jumper on TSU's Jeremy Combs. The Tigers led 9-6. Then Wallace lobs the ball to Juntrell Walker for what should have been the alley-oop, but instead Walker goes back up strong and gets the three-point play. Several possessions later, Tigers Chris McIntosh passes to Howell, who takes a sidestep and blows past Ed and Ewing for the layup. JSU led 25-14. In the final minutes of the half, William Brown gets the ball to Wallace, who banks in a three-pointer. The Tigers led 35-23 at halftime. To the second half, Howell finds Lemmy Howard for a wide-open three-pointer, putting the Tigers up by 14 points, their largest lead of the game. But things would soon fall apart for the Tigers. Midway through the half, TSU cut the lead to eight as Derrick Bruce finds Jalen Patterson for a three-pointer. TSU trailed 53-45. After a 22-5 run by TSU, the Tigers are trailing by nine. Walker turns the ball over. Patterson brings the ball up court in transition and finds Combs for the two-hand slam with authority. Texas Southern would go on to defeat Jackson State 77-65. Reporting for HBCU Game Day, I'm Wilton Jackson.